back to my channel. This is Batel from Batel's Kitchen and today I am super excited to be back with another Passover recipe for you guys. And today we're going to be making bean and potato salad. And before you tell me, I know that some of us don't eat beans during Passover, but feel free to swap this vegetable for asparagus, for instance. This would go really, really amazingly. So potatoes play a huge role during Passover, but today we're not just gonna use them as a side dish, we're going to actually make them the main part of the meal. They're extremely satiating, extremely filling, and very, very nutritious. We're gonna give them all the respect that they need, and with this combination of the fresh and herby vegetables, it's just going to be epic. I cannot wait for you guys to try it. All the measurements are going to be in the description box below or on my website, batelskitchen.com. And if you need more Passover recipes, I have a Passover course that comes with a beautiful ebook with vegan ideas that you can definitely try. Okay guys, let's get started. We're gonna begin by picking our potatoes. I like to use a combination of red and Yukon Gold small potatoes. I find them to be the tastiest. And when you sort them, if you see that some of them are a little bit bigger than the others, feel free to cut them in half. We're gonna rinse and clean our potatoes and then we're gonna dump them into a pot. And it is really important to salt the water in order to infuse as much flavor as possible to those potatoes. We're gonna let them boil and we're gonna do the same with our string beans. And I highly recommend to use not the French green beans like I'm using here in the video, but the regular green beans that are a little bit more thick. We're gonna salt the water as well bring it to a boil. While the string beans are cooking away, we're gonna make our cashew cream as opposed to a tahini. This recipe is good for Passover. You can swap the uh, vegetable for asparagus if you wanted to. And we're now gonna move and make the aromatics. So what I like to do is slice my red onion in a mandolin to some very thin slices and we want to get another really amazing dimension of flavor from our lemon peel which is the lemon zest we're going to zest this lemon and we're gonna rotate it each time in order not to zest the white part which is bitter we're also going to use this lemon soon when we're ready to dress the beans so we're just going to cut it and set it aside now I use raw garlic and I use a lot. You do as much as you want. I'm using two cloves over here, but one clove might be enough. All right, so our beans are cooked. And again, you can use asparagus if you wanted to. And I've cooked them for about 10 minutes. So the water was salted and they have a nice flavor to them. We're just gonna give them a quick rinse in order to cool them off from the heating water. And we're gonna let them sit aside until all the water is dripping down and our potatoes are ready as well we've cooked them for about 20 minutes or so until they're fork tender we're going to rinse them as well and set them aside so we want the water to drip off from the both of the vegetables now that we have our cashews soaked in the water we're ready to make the cashew cream which is going to be the base for this amazing platter so to a blender we're going to put the soaked cashews we're going to add some plant milk and we're going to add one clove of garlic and some fresh lemon and of course some salt and pepper to taste if you want to use tahini and you do use tahini whenever you use it feel free to swap the cashew cream for the tahini so we're just gonna blitz it until we get a really, really, really smooth consistency. We wanna get it as creamy as possible. And look at this texture. This is so beautiful and creamy and absolutely delicious. And we're going to give it even more flavor soon. 
So to a bowl, we're going to dump our cooked beans that they were cooled off and they're now room temperature. We're going to add all those flavors. We're gonna add the sliced onions. We're gonna add the lemon zest. We're gonna add our garlic. And now all we have to do is dress it up. We're gonna add extra virgin olive oil to that and we're gonna season it with salt and pepper to taste. And just as it is, it is really, really a nice salad or a side dish to add to any meal that you wanted to. We're gonna take this lemon that we zested and we're ready to squeeze it into the salad. And we're going to add a little touch of honey because I just love to balance all the flavors with the zestiness and then a little bit of sweetness. Everything just mellows down so beautifully together. So this salad is ready. It is absolutely delicious, just as it is, as I mentioned. But now we're actually finally ready to play. So we're going to take this cashew cream and pour it onto the bottom of the plate and we want to spread it just like hummus or like tahini or like yogurt we want to make sure that this cream is actually touching every part of our potatoes which we're going to add in just a second so we have added our cooked potatoes and we want to make sure that we have this layer really flavorful so we're going to add some salt and pepper to taste and i love adding fresh herbs and today I'm using dill because it also goes so beautifully with the beans. So dill it is. And if you wanted to roast the potatoes, that's possible as well. And now all we have to do is just add this really fresh and so zesty salad onto those potatoes. And I did make sure that I let those beans sit for a couple of minutes so the flavors really marry and then all the juice and everything goes dripping down onto those potatoes. Now for the crunch, because we always have to have some sort of a crunch, I'm using today cashews just because it goes so well with the cashew cream. But if you want, you could do some roasted or toasted almonds or any other nuts that you prefer. I am garnishing everything off with some more fresh dill just to give it another brightness. And here you have it. This platter is so stunning. Let's start with that. And second of all, we have really beautiful layers of flavors. We have creaminess and we have a really nice and rich flavor from the potatoes. And we have those beans that are so satisfying. And then the crunch from the nuts. And of course, every bite is so bright because of this lemon zest and those fresh herbs and the crunch and the onion together. This dish is a meal by itself. Potatoes are beyond satiating, beyond satisfying. And this meal could not only be a side dish, but rather a really beautiful main if you wanted to enjoy potatoes as a meal. I hope you're gonna give it a try. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're gonna give this recipe a try. If you did, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And if you need some more help with even more plant-based, check out my cookbook, Eggless Possibilities, where you can find so many meals that the whole family can enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.